Hey guys, and welcome to another fully defined video. Today, we are going to have a look at one of the practice models from Two Tall Toby's website. Now, we're gearing up for the World Championships of Speed Modeling. Uh, if you don't know what that is, check out the video in description. On Toby's website, he has practice models, and uh, there are currently 69 models up there, and they range from all sorts of difficulties from tier one to tier six. And the tiers kind of uh, give you an idea of how complicated they are, might be how many dimensions or what sort of features are used in those models. Tier six model, machine part. So uh, we're gonna give this a go. Hopefully I can complete it, I assume I can. Um, reasonably confident, but I'm gonna talk you through what I'm thinking as we're doing it. Three, two, one. Oh, that is small. Hold on. Uh, open an image in new tab. There we go. Okay. Uh, alloy. So the first thing I do is I just get the unit system measurement, press OK. That can load up a few seconds while I'm looking at the part. Now, when I'm looking at this image here, excuse my big head, um, I'm always looking for symmetry. I'm looking for an origin to start from. If I see anything round, I'm usually gonna start from that. So I'm immediately drawn to this center point over here, okay? Um, and I'll probably put that like on the front plane or the right plane, won't really matter. Um, always, I've just learned as I've gone through more of this practice from Model Monday Live and the practice models, pay attention to the pink markers. The pink markers are little tips from Toby saying, don't miss this detail. So those are always important too. I can see there's a variety of radiuses, some different draft angles, tangency notes. Okay, so yeah, a few different things. Um, so let's get in. I'm gonna start with this view here that I can kind of see in the middle. I'm gonna stick that on my right plane. Um, and then when I start, maybe I should give it more thought, but with something like this, I think I'm just looking to get the shape right. Okay, so I'm not always gonna be dimensioning everything right off the bat. So I'll actually skip some of these dimensions here and I can see that's a round section. So I'm actually gonna just bring this all the way back up, make that vertical, um, and I will draw in this curve, because I think this curve is gonna be quite important. This one that kind of sticks out. So it looks like it's got a straight section, and then it's got a radius that comes in and it's tangent in here. I haven't drawn that very well. I'll have to bring that right back, okay, and make that tangent. Okay, um, I think that's gonna do from this view, because the other ones, coming out from different views. So I'll keep them there. And now I'm gonna add the dimensions that I can see on this view. All right, so um, I'm trying to find them. Hopefully they're on the view that I'm looking at. Okay, but sometimes you have to look to the other sides. And I've just noticed this has a radius here, this radius 100 across the bottom. That's gonna be quite tricky to do. Um, so I kind of regret my choice for drawing that in right now, but we're in, we're in and we're off, so um, no turning back in this example. Uh, it's got a part that sticks out, it's 30, coming to, from this line to this edge here. So using shift, it's 32, it's 32. I've got the tangency in, I've got the 100. I'm obviously just trying to fully define, okay, all the things that I can all these lines, when I, I know it's fully defined, then I know I've got all the dimensions that I need. And right now I don't. Uh, I do have I do have a marker down here, which is like a, a, a center line for that circle. And now that center line can help because I can see there's a radius 38. So that means from there to there is 38. And if I drag that down, I can use that center point to go to 145 from the origin. Okay, and that's what I can do to fully define that section. Um, now the straight part that comes down, oh, this is this is really tricky. This is really tricky. I might draw in this other square here. Okay, um, I'm going to, look, this is a tier six model. So it's not like a bang, just get it out in three minutes, four minutes. This, this could probably take like 10 minutes for someone to get it right. And if you get anything wrong, Okay, in their tournament, you only get two chances to get it right. So it's, it's actually quite important to um, try and nail it first time. There's a hole that goes 24 through, and then this one is 38. Um, I'm just gonna draw, 
draw this one here. 24, that might help me in some reference later. Um, I think it comes up a little bit and yeah, that's eight. So what I'm trying to do right now is I'm, I'm just trying to obviously define these blue lines that are left. Now this one here is difficult because that moves, like that's a curve with a radius of 90. So you know what, that actually tells me the dimension to here is gonna be 90, all right? That's the one, because at the center point it's gonna be that and it's gonna curve across on the other view. So that's fine. Now I need this other side here, it's the angle, draft angle. I missed it, but 17, okay? And then this pink line comes up, uh, it's gonna sit somewhere around here. Uh, and can I tell where that's gonna tangent? Maybe it doesn't matter, because it's actually gonna merge in with the other part. So even though there's a line there on this side view, okay, right there, doesn't matter, all right? Because you look at the model, it merges into that surface. So if I actually just draw this right down, even here, just as reference, I think that's fine. Okay, so I'm gonna use this sketch and I'm just gonna use the main section at the top of 52. All right, so I'm gonna go extrude and select this one and this one and may as well select the bits down the bottom too. 52, I'm not gonna select that rib section. Now I'm gonna go this mid plane. Even though there's symmetry, I do prefer to extrude things out both ways. Now, where this will help me is there is this 16 degree draft, okay, on this bottom face. I'm just gonna keep this showing. I'm just gonna try and get some details going here. So we had, um, let's see, we have this 38 mil, no, 30, yes, 38 circle here, and that is on that line, and that is going out another 15, and then there's a through hole. I'm not gonna do the through hole yet, just because in case I need to do that rib, which I'm gonna try now. So the rib, I'm gonna select this contour, uh, mid plane, that is eight, um, and I'm gonna select this other section here as well, and you can see what I mean about the merge. It doesn't matter now. So I can get that radius in, 30, both sides, okay, and, and that profile is now done. Um, now I just need to get this circular section going. Um, now we know from the underside, there's a bit of a curve. So we should, we should get that going here. So that is where, uh, if I find the right point, which is here, circle 90, sorry, that should be 180. Okay, you see these little sections here? They need to come out. So I'm just gonna convert that. And those bits are coming out to this edge here. So I'm gonna use these contours, come up to this surface, merge in, that's got that curve, and then I can put those fillets on, nine. So I'm, I'm trying to tick off all these pink text items as I go. There's a misclick, come on, get off, loop. I do not want a loop. All right, that one there, done. Uh, on the top, there is a 32 mil, and we'll draw in the through hole as well. The through hole is 16. All right, nice little trick that I, I like from this is I can see it's 54 up from the middle, so I can go offset 54, and then I can go down up to surface like that. That's gonna get my extrude. I can then use this one, extrude cut. I'm going to select this contour here, and go through all up. Okay, that top detail is good. Let's put in the radius. So I can use a shortcut there, get that in. Okay, so we're making good progress here. Let's just open up this so we can see where we're going with the weight. Um, all right, so we just need to do this this hole and this shape on the side. Now that draft, that 16 degree draft and the radius on that, I'm just trying to find that information because it, it's definitely got a little fillet like here, okay? But I can't see, oh, it's got 100, there it is. Okay, so now we should be good, right? So let's go on this face, just click on this face here, we can draw in our circles. So it is on the outside, 38, which means 38 times two, 76. I do have to cut some edges off, that's okay. Um, I'm gonna draw this shape, I'm going to mirror that. I'm gonna get my draft angle in, 16, I'm gonna make sure they're tangent, okay, fully defined. All right, that's done. Let's add the radius afterwards. Let's trim that. We're gonna cut off those bits with a um, delete face. So that's okay. We're gonna go upset, up, up to surface, up to vertex, it's fine, doesn't matter. Can I delete face? Let's find out. Yes, good. Through hole, 24, 24 through. Um, come on, give me a circle. Shift E, 
for my through holes and radius of 100. Now we're very close to an answer here. I'll probably risk it and put one in. 1098, let's see, 1098, incorrect. Okay, we've got more work to do. That's this hole on the bottom I haven't done. So a nice little tricky one there. So a hole on the bottom, it's a 22 mil hole. I've just used up one of my two wrong answers. So I'm gonna make sure I get this right from here. Um, I think I'm looking pretty good now. So what I'm doing now, I'm just checking the view against um, these 3D views. Just doing it by eye, try and make sure I've got everything covered. 1069, there we go. Whew, good tier six model. And time 12.35, not bad. Um, so maybe if I wasn't um, having to talk through it so much, uh, maybe I'd shave off a minute, two minutes maybe, but definitely a really good challenge. Where could I clean things up? Probably, I probably spent a bit too long on this sketch here, just working things out. Um, that extrude, that extrude had to be separate, that's fine. Fillet's okay. Maybe, maybe this one here again, like that's pretty quick. So maybe here I could have drawn um, multiple holes for up and down um, and just done that in like one less sketch. So that obviously cost me about 30 seconds getting that one wrong. But otherwise, you know, it's pretty quick. I, like, I think that was pretty quick um, for first time seeing that model. So yeah, there we go. Nice little warm up and um, Big shout out to Toby, to, to, to Tall Toby and the comp. Looking forward to it. Um, keep the practice coming. And uh, yeah, looking to see everyone else in the uh, live competition soon. Catch you guys. See ya.